Do you think a lion could ever need help from a mouse? Or that a rat could be so proud that it cost him his life? Well, in today's Aesop's Fables, we'll find out. Well, hi there, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we have four stories from Aesop's Fables about a lion and a mouse, a dog and his bone, some ants and a grasshopper, and a rat and an elephant. <laughs> Remember, Aesop was a slave back in ancient Greece who wrote lots of stories, each with an important life lesson. Let's get started. Aesop's Fables, The Lion and the Mouse. A lion lay asleep in the forest, his great head resting on his paws. A timid little mouse came upon him unexpectedly, and in her fright and haste to get away, she ran across the lion's nose. Rows from his nap, the lion laid his huge paw angrily on the tiny creature to kill her. Spare me, begged the poor mouse. Please let me go, and someday I shall surely repay you. <laughs> the lion was much amused to think that a mouse could ever help him. But he was generous and finally let the mouse go. Some days later, while stalking his prey in the forest, the lion was caught in the toils of a hunter's net. Unable to free himself, he filled the forest with his angry roaring. The mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net. Running to one of the great ropes that bound him, she gnawed it until it parted, and soon the lion was free. You laughed when I said I could repay you, said the mouse. Now you see that even a mouse can help a lion. A kindness is never wasted. The dog and his reflection. A dog to whom the butcher had thrown a bone, was hurrying home with his prize as fast as he could go. As he crossed a narrow footbridge, he happened to look down and saw himself <laughs> reflected in the quiet water as if in a mirror. But the greedy little dog thought he saw a real dog carrying a bone much bigger than his own. Instead of thinking, he dropped his bone and sprang at the dog in the river, only to find himself swimming for dear life to reach the shore. At last, he managed to scramble out. And as he stood, sadly, thinking about the good bone he had lost, he realized what a stupid dog he had been. It is very foolish to be greedy. The Ants and the Grasshopper One bright day in late autumn, a family of ants were bustling about in the warm sunshine, drying out the grain that they had stored up during the summer. When a starving grasshopper, his fiddle under his arm, came up, and humbly begged them for a bite to eat. What? cried the ants in surprise. Haven't you stored anything away for the winter? <laughs> what in the world were you doing all last summer? I didn't have time to store up any food, whined the grasshopper. I was so busy making my music that before I knew it, summer was gone. The ants shrugged their shoulders in disgust. Making music, were you? They cried. Very well now. Go dance. And they turned their backs on the grasshopper and went on with their work. There's time for work and there's time for play. 
the rat and the elephant. A rat was traveling along the king's highway. He was a very proud rat, considering his small size and the bad reputation that rats have. As Mr. Rat walked along, he kept mostly to the ditch, but he noticed a great commotion up the road, and soon a grand procession came into view. It was the king and his retinue. The king rode on a huge elephant adorned with the most gorgeous trappings. With the king and his luxurious howdah were the royal dog and the royal cat. A great crowd of people followed the procession. They were so taken up with admiration of the elephant that the rat was not noticed. His pride was hurt. What fools, he cried. Look at me and you will soon forget the clumsy elephant. Is it his great size that makes your eyes pop out? Or is it his wrinkled hide? Why, I have eyes and ears and as many legs as he. I am just as much of importance as... Oh! But just then, the royal cat spied him. And the next instant, the rat knew he was not quite as important as the elephant. A resemblance to the great in some things does not make one great. Wow! <laughs> what fun stories! Which one was your favorite? Thanks so much for joining us today and for being a reader adventurer. And until our next video, happy story time!